Hey, what's up guys? We're going to make a quick tutorial tonight about how to create channel art. Right up here on the top here, you see um, my tips and tricks, tips in and tricks, because that's the name of the, uh, the channel that I'm going to be uploading this to. Um, and of course, as you know, YouTube is going to the uh, one channel layout and they're soon going to make everyone go to the one channel layout. So um, when you have your new channel, one channel layout, they're going to allow you to do a little picture right here and then this kind of big long bar here and most people they just don't know how to upload a proper photo um, it's either too small or too big and uh, they recommend uh, 2560 by 1440 pixels uh, the minimum is 2120 times 1192 um, so I'm going to show you, you can do this in Photoshop or something like that, but I'm going to show you how to do it in Sony Vegas Pro. I have uh, Pro 10, but it can uh, be in any of the Sony Vegas's. Um, it's actually a really quick way to make kind of a local like this. So we'll be making it for, how about, um, um, Jacked and Tan and Cut, my uh, kind of uh, funny uh, uh, channel here. So let me show you, uh, this one of course is for tips and then tricks. Let's go over to... My other one here, I made this one. This one's a little bit trickier with a picture of a car because it can't be over two megabytes. And of course I have my little picture here. I have my little kind of uh, heading here, um, my name of my channel. And then of course, you know, you add your website, etc., etc. So let's go back and we're gonna be making one for jacked and tan and cut. As you can see, I have my little logo here, but I do not have any channel art. So I'm going to show you right now. So let's go over to Sony Vegas Pro. Okay, first thing you're going to do is if you come and you open it up <clears throat> and you already have another uh, project going, you're just going to go up here to File. You're going to do New. And eh, we're not going to save the changes. It's okay. So we're going to come up here right here over to the left-hand side, Width. So we're going to do what, again, what uh, YouTube recommends, and that is 2560 times 1440 that's the recommended channel art we're gonna hit OK alrighty now let's go ahead and go down here you're gonna right click and you're gonna do insert video track and then you're gonna come over here right click again insert text media so now we're gonna have insert text media so let's just do kind of something simple we'll put a little spin on it I'm gonna try to keep this uh, video short here so let's do uh, about 48 font let's go down here to um, let me get a good one here um, let's try Bradley hand ITC this is a good one so we're gonna go jacked jacked in jacked in tan in cut okay that's layer number one so now Let's go ahead and go back down over here. Right click again, insert video track again. Okay, now back over here, right click again, insert text media. Let's get rid of that. Go down, get rid of that. Let's go back over here to, uh, let's do 36, how about? And we'll put uh, your headquarters or headquarters for funny videos. All right, now let's take a look here. Of course, we're all bunched up there, so we're gonna come back over here, and we're gonna go ahead and left click event pan crop, and we're gonna put that one down a little bit like this. Jacked and tan and cut your headquarters for funny videos. And again, I'm gonna just kinda go through this pretty quickly to make this video similar, semi short here. All right, next thing we're going to do is we don't want it black. We want it nice and how about red light. So we're going to get a red background. And check this out. I kind of like this. This is kind of like a barcode thing. And so let's go ahead and add that in too. So let's go back here. And first thing we're going to do is we're going to go over here to Media Generators. Left click. We're going to drag that red down. Put it underneath so that it's underneath our text. We're going to go over here to Video Preview. There we go. Now we're going to go over here to Video FX. We're going to come down here to Lens Flare, 
And now we have lens flare here. We're going to drop in 105 prime lens right into the slot here. Now we want to see, so let's drag this out of here so we can see what we're doing here. So now we've got a little lens flare here, but uh, we're going to take it up a notch here. Let's crank it up to, um, let's see, let's drag that lens flare down a little bit there. All right, we're looking okay right there. All right, now we want to do the little uh, barcode thing uh, in there as well. That looked pretty cool there. So now what we're going to do here is we're going to add one more video track. And that's going to go to level number one again. Right click, insert text media. Okay, and this is going to be our barcode one, just like you saw in the tips and tricks. So let's get this down to, uh, let's try 48. And the font that that one was, it was barcode 39D, I believe. Let's try that. And you just type away and it turns up like this. So um, let's try barcode 39D. Yeah, same thing. All right, so E it is. Nah, let's make it D. All right, fair enough. Okay, so now let's go back to video preview. So let's get that right there. All right, that's pretty ugly. So let's go back and let's make this smaller to 20, let's say. Video preview it. That looks a little bit better there. Not too shab. All right. So but what we need to do is we need to stack it here. So we're going to go to event pan crop. We're going to get that back in there. We're going to drop this down here. And that looks pretty sloppy still. So. Let's go ahead and do barcode 39A. I like that one. A little bit thinner. Let's beef it up a little bit. There we go. And now we're going to event pan crop it again. And we're going to go up here. But now it still looks kind of bad. We need to get some color on there. So we're going to go back over here to video FX. We're going to scroll through until we get to bump map. And I like the spotlight, so let's just drag this right on top of our, um, there we go. See, as you can see, it now it's looking a little bit better there. So we're looking pretty good. So now, let's go ahead and drop it onto the second one. And now that's looking good. See how it's kind of highlighted there and there, and you can mess around with that if you'd like. Uh, you just mess around with this, kind of go around the circle and it kind of makes it darker or whatnot. All right, so let's keep it moving, which is this one here. Okay, so now we need to drag and drop on top of that one. There we go. Now we got Jack and Tan and cut a little bit on there like that, but let's make that a little bit nicer. So let's drag that, let's push that up there a little bit like that. That's looking okay. It's not perfect, not too terrible, but it's all right. Just for a quick uh, video here. Okay, so um, what do we do need to do next? Uh, let's go ahead and import um, file. Let's go down here to import. We'll go to media. I previously saved subscribe button that I like to do. Kind of get a little little extra subscribe action on it. Let's choose this one here. And let's just drag this one right above our text here. So there we go. It's lining up real nice. Now we need to event pan crop on that there. Let's shrink that on down. Come on now. Shrink it on there. There we go. Shrink that on down there. There we go. Let's get a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. And let's kick that down over here underneath our barcode. And if you spend a little bit more time messing around with colors and stuff like that, it's a little bit better. But again, Try to make this semi quicker for uh, so it's not too long. All right, let's try that right there. Okay, now we're going to come up here and we're going to check again our width and our height is good. Okay, now we're going to come over here to save snapshot file. So we're going to click that and save it to whatever you want to save it to. I'm going to save it to my Jack and Tan movies. Uh, let's just do image 6 and you want again under 2 megabytes so you have the choice of a PNG or a JPG I've had 
excuse me, no trouble with JPG. Uh, tends to be a little bit smaller than PNG, so let's keep it at JPG, JPEG. We're going to save it. So it comes up here like this. All right, now let's get back to our page here. Okay, so now we're signed into our proper one. We're going to apply the channel art. So click this here. We're going to come over down here to my channel. Click on my channel. And as you can see, we have a little picture here, but we have no channel art. So uh, let's go ahead and add channel art. Or if you already have channel art, use this little pencil here, edit channel art. This is going to come up here. If it doesn't, go up here to upload photos. Now we're going to go select a photo from your computer. We're going to come back to where I had it on Jackman Tan Movies. We're going to write here, image six. So let's grab this, let's upload it. And again, right here, recommended channel art, max file size. So let's let this upload here. And it might not be perfect, we can tweak it a little bit. So it's going to show up on three different things. We're going to have it on the desktop, TV, mobile, and again mess around with the fonts to make it a little bit better on the mobile version and desktop version. You can apply adjust crop, but I always screw it up when I do that, so let's hit select. And now this comes up. So as you can see, I need to lower my fonts because I have no subscribe button. I have no lens flare here. So I'm going to have to go back and change that a little bit. So let me do that now. So I'm back here, and if you need to change it, if you need to change the fonts, case you know, sh shrink them down a little bit. But I'm going to try to do the minimum instead. I'm going to try to do what YouTube recommends the minimum. They recommend that other one, uh, but let's try 2120 1192. Let's apply that. Okay, and uh, let's just shrink down that uh, that font there. So let's keep. Let's keep that the same. Let's shrink down this to 28. Let's shrink down this to 36. Let's take a peek and see what we got. All right, looks okay. So let's go ahead and save that again. Now we're going to go to I'm sure why not image one. Okay, back over here we go. Hitting this pencil here, editing channel art. Okay, again, go up top left, upload photos, select computer, image one this time. Upload up, and hopefully this one's better. So this one is better, but I still don't have my subscribe button in there. So we're going to have to mess around with it a little bit more. But as you can see, your headquarters for funny videos is in there. Except for my subscribe button, but you guys get the point. Just mess around with the fonts, the, the sizing of it. Um, shrink down the pixelation a little bit and um, that is how you uh, make a logo and do some cool stuff in your YouTube channel art. I could go into a little bit more details again guys I'm sorry if I went a little too fast but the video is already long enough I apologize for that but that gives you kind of a brief observation so enjoy the vid subscribe guys and a lot more videos on the way take care you have a good night bye bye